I'm Gia at Yarn Nuts. <laughs> Good to see you all. I wish I could see you all. Everybody says that I can't see you, but I wish I could because I've had so much fun watching all your lives this week. Sandy at Left is Right Crochet. Hi. Madonna Ballard, Yarny Good News. Thanks for doing that. It's so, so awesome. Dana at Dana's Wanderlust Crochet. So sorry about Dooley. I hope that he's doing well and thanks for all you do because you guys have made it's such a joy to be a part of this community, and thank you so much. So let's talk about yarn. <laughs> I got an order in from Ice Yarns yesterday for some orders that were placed at yarnnut.com. So I wanted to show you the yarns before I ship them out. So I did a quick unboxing on the couch upstairs. Actually, there was one yarn in particular that I was dreaming about last night, and I kept dreaming about what I was going to make with it. So I'm going to show you that yarn that I was dreaming about last night, and we'll see what it looks like worked up, and maybe we can figure out what I should make with it. It. But let's see what we got in yesterday. Let me know what you think in the comments below of all this gorgeous yarn. Okay, we're just going to do a really quickie unboxing here because I actually like to ship this yarn right out today to customers. So I'm just going to give you a quick view of what it was because it's so neat. Okay, we also got a pack of 67189 Thor. T-H-O-R, turquoise, yellow, pink. This is a new yarn, which I thought looked really interesting. So I wanted to show it to you. It is a number five bulky. This is 100 gram ball, premium acrylic, 25%, 75% wool. You can definitely feel the wool in here, but it's not scratchy. Very nice. Let me move this so you can see that fiber. And it has a great string running all the way through wrapped around the other colors. Very interesting. I think this would look really interesting worked up. It's very soft. Like I said, not as soft as some of the other yarns, but again, it is 75% wool. So you have to take that into account. But you definitely could wear it it as a scarf. This is another new yarn. It is 55537. It is called Fireworks. And it definitely looks like fireworks to me, I have to say. Um, I know it's more of a summer color and we're going to fall, but I couldn't resist it just because it is so pretty. And the colors are really great. It actually, doesn't it look like fireworks? That's pretty awesome. Let's see what it looks like in there. Okay, this Fireworks yarn is a three lightweight, 50 gram ball. 115 meters, and it is 40% wool and 60% acrylic. It's very nice. It almost looks cottony, which is really cool. So I managed to pull an end out. Let's see if I can show you what this looks like. Very little halo. Definitely looks to be chain spun. And fibers are just gorgeous. Fireworks, how fun. So we did get in three colors of Rockstar. People are starting to order that for the holiday little projects. We got in, um, also I got in a bunch of silver, which I haven't filmed yet, the silver gray. So I'll be doing a close up on all these Rockstars. But just so you know, we got the Rockstar red black, the Rockstar green black, and this is a camel, which is actually Old. So in one of our next videos, I will be showing you a yarn review of the Rockstar and all the colors we have. We have several, and we do have the silver gray in stock also, which ice is out of. So if you need some, go get it at yarnnut.com. This is the macrame cord from ice. We had customer order a whole bunch of different colors, and we've had really great response on the Tulip Yarn Art Tulip and the macrame and the Camilla yarn once we put that on the website. People have been ordering that, so it's really, really exciting for me to see all these different yarns. This is actually macrame cord, and we got it in several different colors, and let me show you a close-up. This one's a little bit easier for you to see. It's the silver. There you go. I bet this would make gorgeous things. It's chain spun. It's very soft. My friend Val is actually into macrame. And she's going to be showing me how to do it. And we're going to do some videos. It'll be really fun. 67134 Cakes Fluffy Green Yes. Look at that. Don't you want to just roll around in it? 
So I have to take this out for you because it's just too gorgeous and you've got to see it outside of the cake. Looks like it has a dark, dark thread in the middle. Very fuzzy. Yeah. This is super cloudy soft yarn. It is amazing. Yellow. Green. How fun is that? Bright green. Oh, beautiful, beautiful yarn. Look at that. Oh, I'm going to have to definitely make a scarf with that. This is a bulky five. It is made in Turkey. It does say you can machine wash, but no dry and no iron. The material, 95% mohair, 5% premium acrylic. Cakes, fluffy. Definitely fluffy, I have to say. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I am going to need a really cool stitch to use with this stuff. So fun. Cakes and Bora. I'm getting in the mood for some winter projects now. I would love making scarves and blankets. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet, but I wanted to show it to you because it's a great yarn for winter. It's called Cakes and Bora. This color is 61379. And this yarn is 20% Angora, 20% wool, 60% acrylic. This is a 200 gram cape, 1100 meters, and it's a two fine weight. This is really nice colors. We had a tan jacket. It's really great. That is gorgeous. So I wanted to show you some of the color changes, but it's kind of all stuck together. Super, super soft, as you would expect. But here's some khaki in here. And some brown, taupe, cream. Oh, a little goldy brown, too. That is just gorgeous. I hope you can see all those colors. Beautiful, beautiful colors. It's definitely very fuzzy. Like I said, you would expect that with Angora. So, super, super soft. Lovely. Can't wait to see how that works out. Oh, right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. It was just a few things that came in that I thought some of them were really, really unique and lovely. I, like I say, I still haven't met a yarn that I don't like. <laughs> Unfortunately, I haven't. But my favorite yarn that I was dreaming about last night was the Cakes Fluffy. I was dreaming about the Cakes Fluffy, wondering over and over what I was going to make with it because it's so gorgeous. So let's take a look at it and see what it looks like worked out. All right, so I got my L crochet hook, which is an eight millimeter, and I'm going to see how that works with this yarn. Here is my end. So fun. I'm not sure this is gonna frog well. <laughs> yes, we better make sure we use a simple stitch. So let's see what it looks like. So I actually changed the hook to a 10 millimeter because the eight was a little small. The yarn wanted to slip off, and I, I really like a nice clean hooking, you know, so you probably could use the 8, but I tried the 9 and that still wasn't good enough, so now I'm going to go to the 10 millimeter and see how that works. Actually, frogging, not too bad, at least with the chains, it came right out. Oh, that's exciting. It makes me feel a lot better. Alright, so let's try the foundation chain with that 10 millimeter and let's see. Yeah, I really like the 10 millimeter with this yarn much better. This yarn is very fluffy, so it's a little bit hard to see the holes that you crochet into. So I would definitely use a simple stitch with it. So I worked up a little swatch of the Cakes Puffy. This is what it looks like. This is just double crochets. Of course, it's all crookedy because I wasn't watching my edges. I was so excited about seeing the colors come out that I didn't make sure my edge was straight. But at least you get a good idea. It almost looks like um, they're not consistent color changes. It looks like, you know, like the purple goes into the orange and then the orange goes into yellow, green, blue. And then the blue goes back into the green. And then what's going to come out next is yellow. So it looks like it's kind of a random color changes, which is really cool. 
which is why the cake looks all puffy instead of, you know, stripey, like they normally look stripey. This looks more mixed up together like clouds. <laughs> so I really think it's a gorgeous yarn and it's really easy to work with. The clover hooks glide right through it. And this is again just double crochets and I used about, I don't know, this much of the cake. That, you know, it's puffy, but used about that much of the cake. And let's see how it frogs. I always like to know that. Okay, so, yep, it's frogging all right. But again, if you pull up and hold here, actually, if you do it this way, it's going to frog a little bit easier. So this can be frogged. Um, just have to do it a little slowly so you don't, like, mangle the yarn. But it's it's coming out pretty well. So if you did make a mistake, you would be able to pull it right out. So that is my yarn review. I love it. It's my favorite. I was dreaming about it. Not sure what I'm going to make with it yet. Um, I don't know. Let me know what I should make with it. So in case you're wondering, the blanket behind me is our reversible all seasons cotton quilt. It is our first crochet along that we started last week. And so there's an introduction video out and the first square tutorial is out. So this has spring and summer colors on one side and fall and winter colors on the other. You could of course make it with any color theme you want. That was just what I chose. So we're going to make this with um, Ice Yarns Jeans Yarn, which is on sale for 25% off right now through September 30th, 2020, if you're watching this later. So make this with us. It's really a lot of fun. So thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed seeing all this Ice Yarn and we will be doing other yarn unboxings very, very soon. And have a really good day, everyone. Bye. Okay, so I got my L crochet hook, which is an 8 millimeter. Cut. So I got my L crochet hook, which is an 8 millimeter. I'm going to see how that works with this yarn. And uh, let's see what happens. Let me find the end first. <laughs> what color was first? I think it was... I don't even know. There's the end, purple. All right, this should be fun. Cut. <clears throat> Start here. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're having a bad hair day today, let me tell you. <laughs> so, I, so let's do this. <laughs>